What's going on everybody? So it's come out that LeVar Ball had turned down $10 million in shoe deals from Nike, Adidas, and Under Armour. And everybody's all up in arms like, oh my god, I can't believe he did that. Are you guys serious? Do you guys not understand something? Just think about it like this. The man says he wants a billion dollars for all three of his sons, right? He knows that they have enough talent to at least make it to the NBA. If people stop playing around with him, in this day and age that we are right now, you could, you're, you're in that position to take a chance if you know that you have something that people are going to want to watch. LeVar Ball has been doing... Look, look, LeVar Ball, nobody knew about this man three, four months ago. You know what I'm saying? You knew about Lonzo, of course, but nobody really knew anything about LeVar Ball. This man has turned into... Like, I don't know... Yo, you can't pay for this kind of publicity in such a short time. This man has been on Undisputed like four times. He's on all these other shows. He's doing whatever he wants. Doesn't anybody realize that somebody will be willing to take a chance with this man? Do they not realize that the ZO2s are going to sell regardless? And whatever that, whatever that works out to be, he's not dealing with a major company? That they, they can say that they own it? Does pe do people not realize that he's setting a trend? The man is outright getting free publicity that Nike, Under Armour, Adidas, all these companies, the amount of millions of dollars that they have to pay to get this. This man is sitting there just smiling and laughing. And, and, and what are you going to do? The best thing that can happen is that Lonzo goes to the Lakers. Because if Lonzo goes to the Lakers, all this $10 million garbage talk and all that stuff like that in his position, you got to just think about it. You got to look at the long haul. You got to look at the future. A lot of people live for today. This man is looking for the future. If he starts this now, what's going to happen with his sons later? If this turns out to be a success, this man is having pre-orders for a guy that has never stepped on an NBA court to play any any games yet. And his son, Lonzo. Why, are everybody, why is everybody so upset with him? Because he's taking a chance. Do you guys, you really think that Big Baller brand is not going to be embraced by the rappers? You guys really think that? Like, people have to start to be a little bit more logical and understand the premise behind it. He doesn't have to be like everybody else. He can choose to do this. And people don't realize, in most cases, you don't need to pay for a service. You don't need, just because Nike's going to sell automatically, Adidas is going to sell automatically because they're established brands, that doesn't mean you have to go to that brand. And that's all that he's doing. But meanwhile, he's making people, yo, dudes are raving. I listen, I, I, let me, I'm going to tell you guys a quick story. I go into the barbershop and I'm like, yo, what the hell is LeVar Ball doing? And the barbershop is completely divided because some people are just going to be like, yo, you know, he's stupid. He should have took the money because those people just want to go with what the norm is. Then you got the other people with a different type of mindset like, yo, he, he's kind of smart. Didn't Marbury have his shoes made by somebody else, whatever like that? You start to understand the mentality of the people that you're around. Why would you want to take this money now when you have something that's worth much more in the future? Because even if this fails, even if people don't buy as much as we think they're going to buy, he's still keeping most of the profit. He, there's no split. And then on the top of that, you own it. And then you have other kids that are up and coming as well. So what happens? Eventually, you create something, you become your own business, which is what most people that are successful, that's what they do. You create your own. You don't go, oh, yo, let me sign with you. Let me. You create your own. Some people, you know, they'll do a contract just to, you know, get their foot in the door. But I don't think he really needs that at this point. Because everybody's seen Lonzo play. You guys know what you're getting out of him. I don't know if I'm that high up on him right now. I think he's a very talented player. I want to see how it translates into the NBA. But if I'm if I'm LeVar, I'm like, yo, yo, oh, you oh, you want to do that? Oh, you want to you want to offer me 10 mil though? You got to see that with the way that the league is going to be spending money in the near future, there's a lot more money to be made. So why would you just settle for that? You see what I'm saying? Like people have to understand that. And in doing so, he's made a name for himself and his family. There is no way now that anybody can tell me the choices that LeVar Ball has made over these last three months is stupid. You'll get people that will argue, oh bro, he's turning, he's turning down the money. You don't really see the bigger picture. He does. And that's that's the genius behind it. Because he's getting this all for free. He's not spending any money to get all this publicity, to be trending on Twitter, to be doing all the none of his odds is his ads are sponsored. If you see an Adidas ad, a Nike ad, Under Armour on Twitter, wherever you're at, 
it clearly says sponsored because you have to have it, you know what I'm saying, with the, F, the, the rules. You can't just, just do whatever you want to do. Just think about that. Think about the fact that this guy has turned the whole economic balance of all these companies upside down in the last three or four months. The man is so outrageous that the man, he, yo, he said he'll take out Michael Jordan in a one-on-one. -on -one. And people are running with it. Like they don't understand that this man is just saying anything to just get himself in a position into which he has successfully put and placed his family right now. Because Lonzo is gonna make that money. Lonzo Ball gonna make that money. Cause I'm, t I, look, like I said, I don't know if he's gonna be great, but I know he's good enough to ball with a lot of these dudes that's in there right now. No pun intended with his last name. If he, like I, and I'm, I won't be shocked if he turns out to be great, but I know he's already a solid, good player right now. So one way or the other, this is going to turn out to be a very lucrative decision for LeVar, LeVar Ball and his family and his big baller brand. So I just want to know what the mentality that you have of it. What do you think? Is this stupid on his behalf? Let me know. Leave it in the comment. I'm going to talk to you guys later. One love.